Exercise. 1. Tick, square root, the correct answer. I. Who is the founder of the theory of natural selection? A. Charles Darwin. B. Lamarck C. Hugo de Vries D. Johann Gregor Mendel Answer. A. Charles Darwin. E. Which one is the example of homologous organ? A. R. Hand and four leg of horse B. R. Hand and elephant ivory C. R. Ear and rabbit ear D. Canine teeth of human and dog Answer. A. R. Hand and the four leg of a horse. E. In which are rock fossils found? A. Sedimentary rock B. Igneous rock C. Metamorphic rock D. Volcanic rock Answer. A. Sedimentary rock. I. V. What is the process called for the appearance of new characters in offspring due to change in genetic structure? A. Evolution. B. Mutation C. Variation D. Vestigial organ answer. C. Variation. 2. Give reasons. A. The evidences from fossils are taken as a strong basis of evolution. Answer. Fossils help us learn about organisms that lived millions of years ago. They clearly show how organisms have evolved from simple to complex structures over time. The age of fossils can be determined using carbon and uranium dating. Hence, fossil evidence is considered a strong foundation for the theory of evolution. B. The number of birth of new offspring is excessive though population of organism is not increasing. Answer. Only those organisms that can struggle and adapt to their environment for food, shelter, and reproduction survive. Those that fail to do so become extinct. C. Variation is not only the cause of the origin of species. Answer. Variation alone cannot lead to the emergence of a new species because sometimes sudden changes occur in chromosomes, producing offspring with new traits. This process is called mutation. D. Human, monkey, horse and birds are considered to have evolved from the same ancestor. Answer. Humans, monkeys, horses, and birds are believed to share a common ancestor because their forelimbs have similar bone structures, suggesting evolutionary links among them. 3. Write the difference. A variation and mutation SN. Variation mutation 1. Caused by genetic recombination caused by sudden changes in genes or chromosomes 2. Occurs regularly in every generation occurs rarely and suddenly 3 usually has mild effects often harmful but can be beneficial sometimes b darwinism and hugo de vries theory sn darwinism natural selection hugo de vries theory mutation theory one proposed by charles darwin proposed by hugo de vries two evolution occurs through gradual variations evolution occurs through sudden mutations three Emphasizes survival of the fittest emphasizes mutation as the main cause of evolution. C. Homologous and analogous organs SN. Homologous organs analogous organs 1. Same structure. Different functions different structure. Same functions 2. Indicate common ancestry do not indicate common ancestry 3. Example. Four limbs of humans and bats example. Wings of birds and insects. D. Fossils and vestigial organs SN. Fossils. Vestigial organs 1. Remains are impressions of ancient organisms organs that have lost their original function 2. Found buried in rocks and soil found in the body of living organisms 3. Help in studying extinct species indicate evolutionary history of the organism. 4. Answer the following questions. 1. What is evolution? Answer. Evolution is the process by which different kinds of living organisms are believed to have developed from earlier forms throughout the history of the Earth. 2. What is called a fossil? How does it prove the evidences of evolution? Answer. Fossils are the remains, impressions, or traces of ancient organisms found in sedimentary rocks. These help compare past life forms with current ones and show how organisms have changed over time, providing strong evidence for evolution. 3. How is fossil formed? Explain. Answer. Fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. After organisms die, their bodies are carried by rivers and get deposited in large lakes or oceans. Layers of sediments build up over time. The soft parts decay, and hard parts like bones remain and get preserved in rock layers, forming fossils over millions of years. 4. What are the evidences of evolution? Describe with examples. 
Answer. Major evidences of evolution include. 1. Fossil evidence. Remains or imprints of ancient plants and animals found in sedimentary rocks are called fossils. The study of fossils paleontology provides insight into the life forms that existed millions of years ago. Examples include shells, bones, coal, and imprints of bacteria or animals. 2. Comparative anatomy. In vertebrates, different body parts are made from similar structures. Homologous organs are those with the same origin but different functions, such as the human hand, horse's leg, bat's wing, and whale's fin. 3. Vestigial organs. Some organs in the human body are underdeveloped or have no function, like the appendix or wings in flightless birds. These are vestigial organs, showing evolutionary links. 4. Intermediate animals. Animals like the duck-billed platypus show features of two classes. It has a bill like a duck, bird, but a body like a mammal. This indicates a transition between groups. 5. Describe the Darwin's theory of evolution. Answer. Darwin's theory includes overproduction, organisms produce more offspring than can survive, struggle for existence, due to limited resources, only a few survive, variation and inheritance, offspring differ slightly from parents due to variation, which can be inherited, natural selection, nature selects individuals with favorable traits, origin of new species, gradually, Favorable traits accumulate and lead to the formation of new species. F. What is natural selection? Describe. Answer. Natural selection is the process by which organisms with traits suited to the environment survive and reproduce. Unfavorable traits are eliminated over time. As favorable traits are inherited by offspring, organisms become better adapted to their environment. Thus, nature selects the fittest organisms. 7. According to Darwin, how is a new species originated? Explain. Answer. Organisms that adapt to the environment survive, and their favorable traits pass to the next generation. Over many generations, these traits accumulate, and organisms become different from their ancestors. This results in the formation of new species. 8. Write the properties of mutation. Answer. I. Mutations are usually minor, but major mutations can occur. E they are mostly harmful to organisms. E. Mutations are irregular. I. V. They can occur repeatedly. 9. How does mutation help in evolution? Answer. Mutations play a vital role in evolution by introducing new genetic variations. They create new DNA sequences and genes, which lead to new traits and potentially new species. 10. Mutation is not only the main factor but it is only one additional factor, clarify it. Answer. Genetic variation is the basis of evolution. Selection acts on these variations. Evolution depends on both heredity and genetic changes, including mutation, recombination, and natural selection. So, mutation is one of several contributing factors. 11. Explain the Darwin's theory of struggle for survival and survival for fittest. Answer. If all the offspring produced by living beings were to survive, the number of organisms in nature would increase excessively, leading to scarcity of food and shelter. Therefore, every living organism must compete or struggle to survive for food, shelter, reproduction, and adapting to changing environments. This competition occurs both within the same group and between different species. Those organisms that are fit and able to struggle survive, while the weaker ones become extinct. This is called the struggle for existence. 12. Discuss how Darwinism is criticized. Answer. Criticisms of Darwin's theory of evolution. I. Darwin's theory does not clearly explain the origin of life. E. It does not clearly explain why only some organisms develop favorable variations and others develop unfavorable ones. E. It assumes natural selection is the only cause of new species, but mutations also bring variations. I. V. Useless traits should not be selected by nature, yet they still exist. V. His theory only explains the survival of the fittest, but not the arrival of the fittest. 13. Prove that the organism in the modern era is developed from past primitive unicellular and multicellular organisms with the help of study of fossils. Answer. 
Over millions of years, living organisms have undergone continuous change. Initially, thread-like animals develop, followed by organisms with organs, and then fully systematized animals. Invertebrates such as hydra, earthworms, and starfish evolved first. Later, from invertebrates, simple aquatic vertebrates like fish evolved. In fossilized rock layers, the lowest layers contain fossils of simple organisms like algae, while upper layers contain fossils of mammals. This indicates evolutionary progression. 